I'm at the beach and I came here because this is a place that is really symbolic of how God moved with one of my first callings to preach the gospel and to baptize people in this very ocean. And I hear in my spirit, the assignment has changed. God is promoting you. My assignment has changed. God has moved me into something. And it's, it's so interesting how we can pray for something to happen. We can believe it's going to happen. We can speak God is doing the new thing. But, ooh, baby, when it shows up, what it requires of you, the courage, the stamina, the preparation, the room that must be made, the time that must be spent with the Lord, the ability to navigate in unknown waters, even the ability to overcome the temptation to keep going back and keep going back to the old thing. God is promoting you. He is promoting you. And you know you've been through the promotions department if you've been through paralysis, paralysis, indecision, double-mindedness, thinking you miss God. You know that you're moving through that promotions department because God will dry up a stream and we'll be begging over you know, a spoonful of water. And God is saying, but the promotion is the ocean. So God will allow certain things to dry up so that we can point, be pointed in the direction of abundance, be pointed in the direction of our new beginning, this new direction, God is promoting you. And now it's time to lay aside every weight of fear, of offense, the demonic yoke of timidity that might attempt to steal your voice. God is promoting you. You've waited, you've warred, you've wrestled, you've gone through the midnight hour, you've doubted yourself. You've been in those chains and bondage of silence. And God is saying it is time to come out. It is time for the reveal. It is time to go beyond knowing and understand. And it is time to go deeper than understanding and rest in a knowing. Only those who have been pressed in the midnight hour, who have faced those, those hidden shadows of themselves, those who've gone through isolation, rejection, persecution, those whose tears have rocked them to sleep at night, they understand this knowing that when it all goes away, even when it feels like the whole world is empty, there is a reservoir of God's grace, of his love, of these rivers that comfort and still give you a peace that passes all understanding. You are being promoted and God is lifting you up. There is a sudden wind. There is a second wind. God is lifting you up because he must protect and position his people in this late hour in the kingdom, in this zenith hour, in man's golden hour, God is saying, I am moving by my spirit. And so we must listen like we have never listened before because God is moving with such a suddenly and such a swiftness, like that mother who is gathering her children in for safety, like that father who is calling his son home. God is calling us. He is saying, rest assured, I have heard you. I have counted every offering, every tear, every word spoken by faith. I feel this accumulated total of all of our pain, all of our worries. And God is saying, give those to me. Whatever demonic contract that has been made to the voice of the liar who is here to steal, kill and destroy, we release it even right now. God is speaking on this water according to Psalm 29. The voice of the Lord is thundering on the water. He is speaking and it is welcome to your promotion. Your assignment has changed. It's time to move in this new direction with no apologies, no second guessing, no looking back. It's warrior mode, but his wings have secured us in safety. It is a time of a great, great a uh, shadow of pain and death coming upon this world, but he has secured us in his bosom. He has secured us in, in his arms. God is nurturing and comforting by his spirit and welcome to your promotion. The appointed hour is here. It is time to move out. It is time to speak up. It is time to allow God to lay hold of your promise through you by yielding to his spirit with a yes, Lord, in this hour. Welcome to your promotion. Your assignment has changed. Bless God.